basic troubleshooting for providers. Now every once in a while something goes wrong and well we're not immune. Fortunately the Pinellas Community Voicemail System has been a very secure and stable platform for years. Now if there's a major outage, you know, over four hours anticipated, uh, Pinellas Community Voicemail will email all providers with an anticipated time of repair. Most of the time, if somebody is having difficulty with their voicemail box, we can help them. The major problems users have with the voicemail system here is that a mobile box is full and the call auto routes to the 211 center. Someone is looking to sign up for voicemail. A client can't access his or her voicemail box or a client simply forgets their CVM number or PIN number. Now, when the mailbox is full, the call will auto route to our call center. The call will actually ring over into the 211 call center. This happens because each Pinellas voicemail box is a virtual extension at the 211 center. When the call center receives an overflow call, they email us. We in turn will email you with the specifics and if appropriate, we'll recycle the box and let you know. Now if somebody needs to sign up for community voicemail, um, you guys may get calls from folks but they're not in your area. Feel free to refer them to any WorkNet Pinellas Center except for the one in Tarpon or simply contact 211. Now since you are a community voicemail provider, your agency will be listed in our database as a community voicemail provider. And as such, you can expect people to specifically request CVM as they would any other service. Now a client, when they cannot access their voicemail box, there's one of two things. Yeah, the system could be broken or it could be a simple training issue. It's important to ask just a few quick questions to ascertain which one it is. You can simply ask the client what happens when you enter your four digit PIN number. And they're going to say, I don't know. I can't get that far. It's a training issue. Or it's going to say the password that you've entered is not valid. Please try again. Well, it's possible that that voicemail box has been out of use for so long that we have recycled it to a new client. The client will have to contact the provider that originally signed them on. It's possible that the number is still available, probable that it's been reassigned. And at that point, you can feel free to give them a new CVM number with a new application. You can also ask the client when was the last time that they were able to access their voicemail. Well, they could say, oh, I've never been able to do it, and that's a training issue. Um, go to the How to Train a Client to Use the Voicemail slideshow. Or they could say, hey, you know what, I tried this morning and I got in. In that case, there might be a problem. And again, I'll notify you if there's a major outage. But uh, feel free to shoot me an email or um, call us and let us know that somebody's having a problem accessing their voicemail. Or the client's going to say, hey, you know what, yeah, it's been a long time since I got in and now I can't, in which case, say it with me, yes, it is possible that their voicemail number has been recycled and given to a new client. Yada, 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 you know the drill. Now, retraining clients on program use, just refer to the training clients on how to use the voicemail program. I'm telling you, this one, though, is going to knock out about 90% of them. When clients access their voicemail by calling their own number, 90% of the time they fail to access their box, they forget to push that, that star key quick enough. As soon as that call gets answered, hit the star key right away. That knocks out most of it. And that's it.